Is that a good spot for my hand? Yep. Yeah, it's gonna come out right about here, so. Okay. If you have it just a little this way, just so I don't drill into the wood, uh -huh. then it- uh, Oh, it's better? Yeah, right about there. Yeah, that'll probably be better. Uh -huh. Cause I've got pressure here, and then you put pressure there, that'll hold that span. Okay. So let's see how that goes. Okay. Nice, perfect. Last time I found that if I kneeled on the piece of wood, it would help keep the bolt down for Brian, putting the washer on and threading it. Brian's putting thread locker on the net right now. And then he's gonna roll under there. Seal the deal. All right, it's finger on. Okay. It's gonna come out right about here. So I'll go beside it. Yeah. All right, here I go. Yeah. Can you see it? Nope. Fine. All right, so we're gonna do that nut trick. So what we're doing here is we're gonna rivet up the hat channels. Um, and the idea is to push our metal smooth because it's foam under here. Um, it's going really tight on the sides and creating kind of like a pot belly in the center. So Brian had a great idea to, if we start kind of riveting as we go, it will push our metal nice and smooth and then we won't have any ripples or It'll okay. keep it smooth. Yeah. 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 Let's do this. I think you get the hint. Perfect. Yeah. Put all your weight on it. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Ready? Yep. Perfect. Oh, it is tight under here, y'all. <laughs> All right, so this flange right here uh, came down just a little bit, just cause it's not quite precision work here. That's all right, we do what we can with what we got. So what I'm gonna do is underneath this flange is the angle iron and I'm just gonna hit the edge here so that uh, it snugs up this piece of metal to the angle iron, which will make putting the washer and the nut a lot easier. So here we go. Hold your ears, it's gonna get loud for a second, y'all. There we go. Now it's a lot closer. Now I'm gonna uh, start drilling the hole through the previous hole and then up through the top layer that's up inside the bus. Aaron's up there holding it with block wood. Right? Yep. All right, here we go. Tell you what, y'all, trying to get leverage down here because I'm like maybe uh, three inches away from the underbody. But this is the normal height of the skirt, so it's not any lower than the skirt that was originally on here. We're not lower than that, so we are a okay, y'all. All right, dropping it through. Nice. Throw some, throw some weight on there, girl. You there? Yeah. All right. No, no? No, just push all your might. Okay. Oh, I dropped it. All right, so because it's not really poking out very much, what I'm doing is pushing this flange up a little bit, and then it gives me room to slide the nylock nut on. So originally what I'm doing is just trying to finger tighten it to get it on there, and then if I can actually hold on to them, I keep dropping them. 
But then I'll uh, crank it on so that uh, it displaces the metal up top a little better and uh, hopefully we'll be able to snug it up. All right, ready? Yep. All right, hold it with uh, your wrench. So it just caught the threads. Got it. So now see how I pull it so that the threads come out. So that snugs it up and all the material together real nice. Now I'm gonna pull it off. So now I've got more threads presenting. Now I need to slide out and put thread locker on the nut and then we'll slide the washer uh, and nut back on. All right, so I return with some thread locker on the nut. And we're gonna get our washer there. These are the big old fender washers. And then let's see if we can't line all of this up. And I'm gonna put it on the socket to start because I've got more leverage to push up with this. All right, ready? Yep. Oop. <laughs> oh, you guys got close. Oh, dropped another one. Can you push as hard as you can? Yep. You might actually push with the uh, block. Push with the block. Yeah, because it's not presenting like it was. Okay. There, there it goes. All right. One, two, three. All right, grab it. Go. Perfect. We got more of those to go. making it tight. Yeah. Okay, go. Perfect. Right on. Perfect. I can't believe I'm in this space behind the barrel. I can. <laughs> okay. How'd I get in here? Schoolie side project. Oh yeah. So we finally got our stovepipe in. Woo, woo, woo. We're gonna get some heat up in this barn. Yeah, so first we gotta make our entrance. We're gonna just blow through this and uh, hopefully we can knock these uh, out with a carbide blade that is for um, grout. Hey. 
We lost daylight really fast, so we had to hustle. Yeah! So we got our inside chimney, some high temp caulking around all the joints, them all screwed together. We got our outside uh, wall thimble all mounted up, some fire uh, foam, fire rated foam, expansion foam. <laughs> Yeah. We're chimney people now. We're, yeah. Chimney we're team. Team chimney, team wood stove installation. Can't wait to get a wood stove in the schoolie. Probably won't be, it might be complicated, I don't know. <laughs> so it turns out we're waiting for a few more parts mm, just to attach it to the roof. And then we'll be able to finish it. But we still have four more big pieces of pipe to go up, so. Yeah, we're going to go take a siesta and then we're yeah. going to continue working on this part next. Yeah, Whew. sorry for the interruption. Love for <laughs> Already making a mess. <laughs> that won't matter. It's gonna be in the wall. This worked out really good on the other side, so we're just gonna repeat the process. Now we're in a really nice groove with what we're doing, so that is nice. Um, but yeah, we're gonna uh, seal up this wall and this bottom edge and put some rivets in the wall. Then we can move on to getting the floor in. Just really goop it on there. All right, so now that the seam sealer's on, we're gonna pull the edge in, and then we're gonna clamp every so often, uh, just so that it stays nice and attached, um, so that we can get it on the other side, and then start uh, putting in some rivets. And then we can release these as we pop rivets in. I'm going under. <sighs> Scooty scoot. I made it, y'all. All right, so. Here's the line we're gonna start doing rivets on. I'm gonna start drilling the holes, all that good stuff. I made it. Yeah. Nice. We're gonna cut some more metal for the floor pan. off need be it's nice when the rivet lays flush against the skin so that's why we feel for burrs and sometimes if there are burrs Brian will waller out the hole just a little bit more um, so that it's smooth and then the rivet lays flat and sucks the sheet metal together nice We need a little morale boost, so we flipped the thing over, so I'd stop going under the table. And it's much easier for Brian to drill the holes. Way easier. That's tight. Two Good more time. of these to go. Two more. So it worked really good. Last time, Brian drilled four corners down on each on each hat channel hat channel 
Yeah. So eight. Eight. Eight total. Eight total. Upside down. Or actually, this is right side up. Then we throw it upside down. Yeah. So then but, we threw it upside down. Yeah. That boosted morale big time. No more neck breaking. Weird angles. Crappy, floppy drilling. It was so much more firm and just easier on both of us. And now we're not being bitchy to each other. Oh, geez. That's great, isn't it, girl? So, girl. We boosted morale. Boosted and, morale. Uh, now the camera's Jeez. dying, so. Oh yeah, it's blinking red. It's blinking. Yeah. So we're gonna have to turn you guys off for the night. Yeah. And we're just gonna finish up drilling the holes, riveting, seam sealing our rivets, and uh, then we're gonna get some Z's, and we'll see we're you tomorrow. You may keep wondering why we kept messing around with these gray water tanks. And the reason is because once this floor is in, we cannot remove these barrels. Um, so we needed to get these up um, and we needed to start to conceptualize some kind of a design. With all of your very thoughtful comments and concerns and ideas, um, we've come up with a even better design. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. I've got these babies holstered up here now so that we can get the rest of this floor in. Let's go. Oh, Aaron did such a great job. Uh, we just took my job down. Removing uh, the barrels. Yeah, so they're out of the way right now. That one's over there, uh, but that's fine. Uh, before we get the next section of floor in over here, we'll have to put it up into this section, but just so that we've got room to maneuver a bit. We, and uh, work our way around these eye gougers. Yeah. So we've got our eye pro. Definitely wear eye pro for this sort of stuff, guys. <laughs> and you're handling sheet metal. Wear some hand pro of some kind, because metal's sharp. Yeah. There we go. Snugging up our corners. Nice. Preparing to drill all four corners on each section so we can continue installing the underbody storage. I don't know what more you could want. You got a lock washer, you got a, a freaking washer head that has uh, little teeth in it that bite in. You also have thread locker. <laughs> um, if we had a night lock nut, maybe we'd throw that on also. Maybe we could even do a locking washer uh, nut set. That could also be an option. Only time will tell. That's for sure. Science, science experiment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I bet. We're about to put in the last two pieces. Even though we haven't screwed them in, we've got to get those in so that we can drill the holes so that we can then put foam and all the other good stuff on top. <laughs> Wish us luck. Yeah. Pretty amazing we're both on this thing. 
<laughs> we haven't even finished it. The idea is to pre-drill all the holes around the perimeter. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna do a million more of those. We'll get back to you in a bit. The other ones went in a lot smoother, but because that one we already put the top in, it didn't slide in so easily. So I would suggest the next time we do this, which hopefully is never, um, <laughs> that we do. Yeah, hopefully never. We do all the bottom pieces yeah. with all the hat channel, then all the foam, and then finish with the topper. Yeah. So. You live, you learn, right? Learning. We're gonna show you why it would be in your best interest to put the top of the floor on after you finish all the foam and hat channels or like the bottom sections. Or else you'll need to do this. Go. Oh. Ooh. Go, it is go. now an R3. <laughs> In that section. Corner's really low. This, this is what's happening right there. The floor is in the way of the foam. It's no bueno. No bueno. A lot better. A lot better. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. So this should be interesting. We decided with this piece, we're not going to cut it in half. We want to see if we can do a perfect break on each side so that it sits nice as our top piece. Um, one of the, the other piece, we're going to have to have it cut in half, but this one we're going to try to keep whole and we're going to try to break just a little bit, an inch and a half on each end. Feel pretty good. I think it went pretty well, Erin. Come see. It's freaking sheet. Oh, that looks better. Thanks. We've measured all of these little cutouts. So the metal slides in between the foam and the white piece of angle iron. And this will lay down once we get some metal on it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Look at that. So we just pushed this lip in. These little notches that we cut out are for the bolt heads that go on the other side. So that's doing good. Uh, this little V mark here indicates where the two pieces of angle iron are welded together. And so we've got space in between there that allows this piece of flooring to go in. And then these marks here indicate where the hat channel reside because we're going to pop rivets all the way along those. And then we're also going to do the bolts and stuff through the floor, through the angle iron around the perimeter and everything. How'd it go on your side? It looks perfect. It slid in to the edge. Perfect. I just had to coax the one end a little bit with a putty knife. Um, but yeah, it looks so nice. Nice. So nice. So what do you think? Water tank, push it up as far as we can to the wall? Yeah. Or here? Uh-huh. And then have a drawer. Well, it's 26 inches, so the drawer wouldn't be very big. Yeah, it wouldn't be good. Let's yeah. push it back here. I think we have to push it there because this tank here oh, actually is back. going to be further back than what you see right there. Are so you, nice. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm gonna take a nap on this now. <laughs> So I think what's next is we'll throw some clamps on the hat channel areas um, and then uh, drill a hole, pop a rivet, drill a hole, pop a rivet, and uh, maybe do, 
do it from one side to the other so that it lays out smooth. Mm -hmm. Do all. And we don't get any bumps or yeah. waves in the middle. Like we did on that one. So yeah. hopefully this one lays a little bit cleaner. Yeah. But you know what? You live, you learn. We've never done this before. Yeah. It doesn't really matter anyways back there if how smooth it is um, because a battery bank is going yep. on this end. Behind that gray water tank is going to be our hot water heater. And on that side, you won't even see the floor anyways because it's probably going to be that big drawer. Yeah, that's true. So if, if there's going to be a nice smooth spot, well, it doesn't even matter here because the water tank's going to go the whole way. Yeah. Whatever. Regardless, this it's going to be This is a basement. Perfect. Yeah, it is a basement. It's a basement. Yeah. Cool. It just has to be sturdy AF. Yeah. That's all. All right, I love it. y'all well, that's it for us for today for right now this episode yeah so. this is a massive project and uh <laughs> we've been working on it asses. for more than a week now yeah so and we need to make this video so you guys can have a nice video yeah um, we'll continue with the underbody even yeah. though we haven't attached these yet we'll show yeah. you don't yeah. worry we're gonna attach these then we gotta put the bulkheads on insulate them figure out what we're doing around the chassis slap some doors on this baby we also have uh upgrade um threaded rod or supports or whatever that'll go down the middle on a couple different sides yeah. multiple of those um, that help support the center of the floor also the whole structure it's a system like a bridge is a system. Mm -hmm. It's got all sorts of supports that go in different directions and stuff. Yeah. Just like the underbody. It's kind of like a bridge, but underneath the bus. Yeah. I'm actually amazed. Like this thing was holding us before we put the foam in, like when it was just hat channels and the yeah. bottom piece, so. It's even more solid now. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah. It's really sturdy. Yeah. Cool. And it's only going to get more sturdy the more yeah. that we continue to build on it. So. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so hope you like this video. If you do, share it with a friend. Um, if you give it a rip, let us know. Send us a picture or hashtag us. Be adventure partners or something. Yeah. Let us know that you did it. Um, if you got comments, concerns, we know you'll share them. And your comments and concerns may help us if we haven't gone too far in this project yep. um but it could definitely help somebody else um if you know we get too far ahead because yeah. we're kind of in a, a weird time warp situation with this whole video thing so if you're subscribed <laughs> already thank you so much we yeah. really appreciate the support by you yeah. watching our channel and if you're not subscribed yet consider hitting that subscribe button and yeah. thumbs up this video and hit the bell to get notifications and we yeah. want to say a special thank you and a shout out to all our patrons you guys help us build this bus with your contributions yeah. we really appreciate all of y'all yeah we so appreciate you guys and until next time friends adventure on adventure on bye